Virginia, everybody loves freedom. And Mahana Fresh, positively fresh, positively delicious. This bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the cage Zilla middleweight division. Starting out, fighting out of the red corner. Standing six foot two and weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Jim O, it's Paul Carson. Carson is 6'2", 184, 24 years of age, out of Jim O, out of North Carolina. And his opponent, fighting out of the corner. Standing five foot nine and weighing in at 179 pounds, fighting out of method boxing and MMA, it's Devin Roque Sosa. Sosa 5'9", 179, 22 years of age, out of Woodbridge, out of method boxing. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is a middleweight bout. It is scheduled for three three-minute rounds, and your referee is Michael Dolman. All right, Michael Dolman will be the referee for this one. It's scheduled for three three-minute rounds as we get Chris and everybody else out of the cage in the seconds and the stools. And once we get it all locked up, we'll be ready to go. This one's probably going to be one of those ones that I just was looking forward to last night after watching the weigh-ins. Wait, are you ready? Wait, are you ready? Fight! He's fit and he's ready to go here. Both guys touch gloves right on top of the cage. Zillow Logan. Yeah, 6'2", he just looks huge. I mean, he's standing right in range here. He's big, big, big. Nice right hand, right into a takedown. Beautiful setup there. Decent defense from Roque, but just Carlson was able to just drive right through it. And, and, and like you said, to have a brother like that, to be in a, in, a, in a gym all the time with your brother, who's a pro fighter, you got to come in here, you're 6'2", you have such a height advantage. It is going to be amazing to watch this kid later on in life, as, as, especially as young as he is. Yeah, there's a lot of development here, but I can tell you right now he's doing great. He's passing the guard, his head's in the same place, he's working in his first hook, and he's got good wrist control. Now, the has got to start moving here. He doesn't want to wait any longer for Carson to try to get that second hook in. This 185 pound, this welterweight, excuse me, this middleweight division for us here at Kate Zilla is what oh, the big right hand is, is amazing here. McKay did a great job there, getting up to his feet, throwing a leg kick. He got woken up here a little bit. His hands were a little low, and I will tell you, Carson's looking for that head kick again. Carson stung him when he stood up, man. He really rocked him, and you saw the head whip back and forth, and we know that that's a tough one once you get going. Beautiful duck under takedown, right into side control. And now he's settled in now with UK flat on his back, which is never where you want to be. You got to even start tripping. Carson wants to step over here and get him out. Carson will be on top. He's got the black trunks with the red, red stripes. Roque is on the bottom here. Like White trunks with those arm. black gloves and blue tape. For a second turn, Juan Roque was separating that arm. And he looked like he was going to go for a pull grip, which would have been good, but Carson made a good adjustment and now wrapped him up and just pushed him up against the cage. Just trying to ease that in there, but Carson just looks fresh and looks like excited and ready to be here. Roque looks like he's been on the defense the entire time. Well, he's just much, much smaller here. But now he's got a good grip on the neck, but not a whole lot you can do there. You gotta get both hands involved. Luke has got a good, strong grip, but it's not enough. He needs to use both hands and start to push off here and shrimp. Yeah, I thought he might have had it sunk in there, but it just wasn't deep enough to try to keep that in so that Carson didn't throw him. Carson got a little blood coming from the shoulder here. Now we're Shots just punching there. away right here on the top and the Big bottom. control from side. Carson trying to make his move to try to get those legs over. Carson's going to try to pick it up over that hit and arm choke and he advances and switch sides. Good pressure here, chest to chest. Just trying to work this out. And Roku a little bit of trouble good, coming down to the end of the round here. Good shoulder pressure from Carson. Trying to get this, this, this arm locked in here. I think Roku might have it. Does yeah, it have? Nope. It's so hard to get that yeah, when you're, from when that you're, side. Yeah. Exactly. And once Carson moved him out, now he's got oh, a big elbow slip through there. Big, another big one. He's got to do something. No, oh, he's got to go. do stay something. Up, stay up. There you go. Oh, good you job. Gotta, so, so. You got to bridge when the shot comes in. A big elbow. Got, Mike's going to think about stopping it here. Carson just keeps putting it on him. In the round number one, right at the end. I'm glad Dolman let it go. At the end, as he was taking those heavy elbows and hammer fisted, he definitely wasn't done. He let it go. Let it go. Let's move a second. Let's move. Lock that up for me, please. Thank you, sir. Fight! 
Big jab on the way in. Michael Dillman cranks it off, and here they go right on top of the Cavezilla logo. Beautiful takedown. Carson right back on top. He'll have the black trunks with the red strike. Now he's got both hooks in, and, he, and he's got Rokic flattened out. Rokic is really hold on to that grip. Track doesn't want to let go of that arm, but he's in a tough spot here. Now Carson can't quite hit him until he frees that right arm. And he did. And now he's got one on trap. Okay, opts to move it a mount, but he's got it. He's got to get out of here. These quick elbows, very sharp. Those elbows are just tough. No, no gloves, no padding. And when you start taking those sharp elbows to the face, there is not a lot you can do. Okay, he's got his four to Carson's chest and push on the hips and hip up at the same time. By putting his head to the chest, that's going to prevent him from getting hit at least hard. And then as he explodes, he's going to use that hip pressure for himself and also his hands to push away. But now he's just receiving a lot of hard shots. And he's trying to get his legs involved, but he just can't quite do it. Rights and lefts. Right on top. Carson just going to town now. Carson let's see. Yeah, let's yeah. see if Sosa can get right there. You go head to the chest. That's what you got to do. You got to hold on tight. Because whenever you let that posture back, you just bring down punches with the in a tough spot. You got to get dead and ready. And he's really surviving some terrible positions. You got to start going down. You got to start getting out. Michael Dolphin's actually telling Carson right now that he can't grab the fence. He can't put his fist against him. He can't put his fist Yeah, no grabbing the cage here, but he's just throwing haymakers, and Devin's got to do something. It's tight, but Devin's fighting it. If Devin can move over and get into mount, that's he it. He got the that's tap. it. Yeah. Giannis looks in there. Couldn't breathe after taking those blows. I'm going to tell you what, Sosa's a tough dude after taking that beating. Yeah, very, very tough. Results here. Michael Dolman, girl, broke guys. Salisbury Center referee Michael Dolman has called a stop to the action one minute and 43 seconds into the second round for your winner by tap out. Due to guillotine choke, out of the red corner, it's Paul Carson. Well, there you have it, out of the red corner. Paul Carson comes away with a huge win tonight here at the Salisbury Center at Cagezilla 63 with that guillotine. He just gets it in there and he sinks it in. You know, Devin doing a great job trying to deflect to the best he can, taking those elbows and those shots. All right, when we come back, we still have more fights to go right here, live from the Salisbury Center.